Aether Gazer is right around the corner, and assuming that nothing has changed in terms of the order of which characters arrive on the gacha banners, Tsukiyomi should be the first available S rank that you'll be able to acquire via the gacha system. Today, we are going to talk about her kit a little bit and show her off in combat. We aren't too far off from the release of the game, so if you're excited for Aether Gazer, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more Aether Gazer content. And don't forget to tell me which characters you're excited for in the comment section below. Anyways, let's get it poppin'. S rank Tsukiyomi is a top tier lightning elemental DPS that utilizes multiple blades to execute her various skills. She's a fairly simple character to understand, so let's get right into her abilities. Just keep in mind that all of this is based on the Chinese version of the game, and it's possible that changes could have been made to Tsukiyomi's kit for the global release. So every aspect of Tsukiyomi's kit is very important to dealing the most DPS because there's not a single aspect of her kit that you will not be using. For example, her basic attack will be filling up her rage bar, which is located right under her health. This is very important because you need rage in order to utilize her skills. You can see that for skill 1 you need 20 rage, for skill 2 you need 30, and you need 10 for skill 3. But skill 3 has 3 forms. So we're going to go ahead and talk about why skill 1 and skill 2 are important to skill 3. So skill 1 is a dash forward and skill 2 is a chain of attacks. Both of these are important because of that lightning seal that's now above the enemy's head. Now, you'll also want to make sure that you have enough rage for skill 3 as well. Because you can use skill 3, but unless you have that thunder seal, form 2 will not become available. That is form 2. But now you see that third form didn't show up. And the reason for that is because we didn't execute the right chain of attacks. And there is a specific, uh, well, a few specific ways you can execute skill three. Well, the third form of skill three. So you can either start with skill two, then use skill three, and then use skill one, and then skill three again two times, which I'm gonna demonstrate here. So you'll use skill two, skill three, skill one, and then you can use the third form right so that's one way you can do it or you can use skill one as the first attack and use skill two as the second one so you'll use skill one skill three skill two and then skill three two times now technically you can use the same skill twice but there'll be a huge cooldown in between, so it's not really worth it. So basically, you can use skill one and then wait for the nine second cooldown uh, after using skill two and then use skill one again, which I just don't advise because it won't. Uh, it's not good for DPS, especially when fighting the harder enemies. So that's how you unlock the three forms of skill three, skill one, skill three. Skill two, and then skill three twice. Or you can start off with skill two and then use skill one as the second attack. And that is how you use Tsukiyomi's kit, at least S rank Tsukiyomi. Uh, she also has this cool ultimate, which I'll place the details of her ultimate on the screen for you to see. And uh, she also has this really cool chain attack that she uses with another character, which I'll also place the information for that on the screen as well. One thing that I forgot to mention when I was recording the demonstration gameplay was that Tsukiyomi also has a time fracture when she dodges at the perfect moment. But if you use her basic attack shortly after the time fracture is activated, you'll also activate her dodge skill, which will be shown on the screen. As I mentioned during the demonstration, in order to get the most out of S rank Tsukiyomi, you must know how to utilize her skill 3, otherwise you'll be missing out on a lot of DPS against your enemies. Now, you're most likely asking if you should pull for her. Well, I'm a waifu over meta type of person, so I'm most likely going to say yes in these situations, but she is a top tier DPS when it comes to lightning damage, so I say go for her, but the choice is yours. Anyways, I hope this video helped you understand how to use S rank Tsukiyomi, if you decide to pull for her that is. 
If you enjoyed, please like and comment with your thoughts on s rank Tsukiyomi, and don't forget to subscribe for more Aether Gazer content. Tsukiyomi should be the first to appear on the gotcha banner once the game launches, and if anything changes, I'll make sure to let you know in another video. Have a wonderful day, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay chaotic. Peace out, everyone.